Hello there. We're going to talk about sabar drums today. Sabar drums. Sabar drums are indigenous to Senegal and Gambia, West Africa. Senegal is a country which is on the most western edge of the African continent, and Gambia is a little sliver of land within Senegal. Sabar is the name for the group of drums, the dance, and also an event with drumming would also be called a sabar. The drumming is very common in Senegal, and it's common to see children dancing and drumming to sabar events that would happen out in the open in their neighborhoods. I studied sabar in college at ASU with my teacher whose name was Dr. Mark Sunkit, or Omar Sek as we called him. About 10 or 15 years ago, I went with him to Senegal, studied music there, and brought back some instruments. Typically, there are five drums in the Sabar Ensemble. And we have three drums here that have open bottoms. And these two drums over here are closed bottoms. And it is believed that closed bottoms came first. It was a carved out hunk of wood and they would use a big stick to mash up food and grains in, like a mortar and pestle. Then they started putting goat skin on it and they became drums. These two closed bottom drums have a high and a low. So they might look the same, but you can tune them up or down. The low drum is lomb and the high drum is talmbat. For our open bottom drums, um, it's believed the largest one was first, dare. Nowadays, Ndare is used mainly as the lead instrument that will play signals. Because it's the biggest, it also has the loudest sound. Bung Bung plays a rhythm called Mbalak. And that's a very important rhythm. Um, and we'll talk about Senegalese popular music has a style called Mbalak because it uses that rhythm. That's the Bung Bung. That's kind of like the heart of the rhythm along with the lam. So if you can hear that, you can hear what's going on. The tungani was the last drum to be added. It's short and its name means dwarf. So it is a drum that came later and so all the parts um, were kind of made up and they continue to make up parts and they might have multiple tunganis playing all these parts that they create. The other drums like that the long play are very, very old rhythms that are set. The wood is a very dense demba wood and the pegs are made out of a softer wood. So we play subbar drums with one stick and one hand. Your dominant hand has the stick and your other hand uh, just has the hand. We play a rhythm on the side called galan. Galan is also the name for stick. So the galan rhythm goes like this. So we might play that to start a song or to um, tell us where we are in the beat cycle. Sabar music uses words a lot in the Wolof language. When they create or recite words, it's called Bach. When they play the drum to replicate those words, it's called Tasu. There are some tasus that can be played on the drum 
that everyone will know just by hearing it. You don't have to say it. So in this way, we're using the drums to communicate actual words and ideas. An opening tasu that all sabar drummers play before they start playing a performance. And that's called Yangwi Mom. And the story is about a man who got bit by a snake and he's gonna die, so he goes to the ocean where the ocean uh, spirit lives. He tells him, whether I live or I die, I am yours, I'm devoted to you, the ocean spirit. So, uh, that says, Yang wi mo, bam wi bam dak, bam wi de yep, Yang wi mo. Hadim, Yang wi mo. Another drum common in the music from Senegal is the tama, also known as talking drum. By squeezing the strings with your arm, the drum changes pitch and sounds like talking. This is my current teacher, Popjuf, playing my tama. He is from Senegal, but lives in Los Angeles. If you've seen Black Panther or Infinity Wars, You've heard the tama played by Masamba Jok from Senegal, a sabar drummer. They, they just say, okay, we have a music film called Black Pen, but we need the instrument who, who can follow the, the action. We put the video, you watch the video, you play with them. I say, I can try. <laughs> First day when I do my sound check, with my talking drum, my sound check with the, the action with my talking drum, all the people who was there, they jumping. Yeah, we're looking for this guy. We're looking for this instrument. We, we, I don't think so, it exists. In the, in the beginning of the film, you, you hear that this rhythm in the bottom, like four talking drums played one, one things together. After that, I, I'm coming with the single talking drum I play. See? <laughs> yeah. 